Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Welcome to SBRForum.com. In this video, we're taking a look at Game 6 between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Minnesota Wild. Now, the Wild fought and scratched and scraped in Game number 5, but in the end, it really wasn't enough. You know, they had played better for two games at home, won those two games, muzzled that Blackhawks offense, and they managed to do the same in game number five, but they couldn't get the win. They only scored one goal. So now we're up to game six in the series, and we're once again looking at the home and away splits for the Minnesota Wild. And I think that's really uh, what's going to lead to another Minnesota play for me, or another win for Minnesota here, and a play for Minnesota uh, in my books. I've been, uh, I haven't been on them as much as I should be uh, in terms of them playing at home. Now, the reason I like them here in this spot is because now at home in this postseason, they are 5-0. and uh, On the road, they're 1-6. The difference is really goaltending. Uh, you know, goaltending at home, they've, scored five, they've allowed five goals in five games. On the road, they're allowing an average of four goals per game. So, I think that's really the main difference here. We saw those home and away splits uh, and how important they were for the Wild in the regular season. I think it carries over into game number six. Now, you take a look at the trends in this series. Blackhawks dominated game one, game two. Minnesota Wild dominated games three and four. And game five was pretty even. So I think the Wild have sort of tilted uh, or tilted that momentum or sort of even things out. Uh, they didn't get blown out in game six, pardon me, in game number five uh, as they did in games one and two. So that shows that they made some progress. That being the case, I think now that they're back at home, they continue that momentum. Breeze Glove plays well, and they find a way to extend this uh, to seven games. Now remember, this uh, pattern played out the same way in the first round for the Wild. Uh, they, they lost the first two games in Colorado, won the next two games at home, lost game five in Colorado, won game six at home, and then uh, you know went to deciding game seven where they outlasted the Avalanche. So they've been in this position before, they're experienced uh, just from the round before, so I think they'll be fine in this spot. And I think as a home dog, they can once again cash and uh, win for you. Thanks for watching this video right here on sbrforum.com. We'll talk to you again soon.